And my superstar panel is back with me. You know, it's the GB News star, Tonya Buxton, the former newspaper executive, Neil Wallace, and the political commentator, Daisy McAndrew. So, Daisy, let's kick off with you. Who's your greatest Brit this evening? So, my greatest Briton tonight uh, is a lady called Jackie Scully. I have to admit that uh, Jackie's somebody I know. She works um, with my sister for a publishing company, Think Publishing. But Jackie has done the most incredible thing this week. For her 40th, she's had cancer in the past. She decided to break the Guinness World Record for the longest spin class, as in on a bicycle. You see, And that in the middle there is my sister <laughs> waving oh. pom-poms to keep them going. They went for 29 no. hours. No. Solid. That's one o'clock in the morning there. I'm just thinking. Of, of, of the glutes, Daisy, yeah. and how well, painful that would be. Apparently, it wasn't just their bottom and their thighs. It was also their hands from holding on oh, yeah. for 29 hours. But they raised more oh. than £40,000 and they broke the world record. But it hasn't been validated yet, but we know that it's going to be. Amazing. So Congratulations incredible. to them. <clears throat> Neil Wallace, your nomination for the greatest Britain. Well, it, it's not an individual. It's a, a group of people, really. And it's the journalists of this country who have just kept worrying away at the great powers that be and in particular have continued to fight the corner against, for instance, uh, Meghan and Harry. And yes. the, the way the Mail on Sunday, the Mail, the rest of the national press have stood up for freedom of expression, for the right of people like you, like Rod Little, like me, like Daisy, you know, all of these journalists who are out there putting alternative views. And so I think they have been particularly present this week. Uh, the Mirror, oh, for instance, so exposing yeah. the original story about the Downing Street. Yes, not often I praise the Daily Mirror, but they have done good work there. <laughs> well, Tonya Buxton, your nomination for Greatest Britain. So I think today of all days, it's really important that we uh, hold up Lord Sumption, who is the Chief Lord Justice of this country, and has really come out and talked about how damaging lockdowns are. And I'm going to read something that he wrote, which I think is brilliant. Sometimes the most public-spirited thing you can do with despotic laws like this is to ignore them. I think that if the government persists long enough with locking people down, depending on the severity of lockdown, civil disobedience is likely to be the result. It will be discreet, civil disobedient in the classic English way. Well, I'm not sure I'm half Greek, so, you know, mine won't be quite as civil, but it will be disobedient. And I, and I, he is the Lord Chief Justice and he sees that these laws are immoral yeah. and well, he was. He, he was. He was. And Tonya, I'm, I'm going to go with Lord Sumption, actually. Uh, you've played in to be there because he was actually my first ever guest on this show. I think he's been a hero uh, throughout, throughout this period and we'll have to get him back very soon, actually. 